Hi, it's good to see you. If you're watching this, it's because I sent you a video link and I want and, and you clicked on it. So I'm not going to take a lot of your time. But the reason I'm sending this out, I'm sending this out to my friends, my family, uh, people I've known over the years. It's hard to not know a lot of people after 43 years in the workforce. But I'm just like you. Our, our, our parents taught us, uh, you know, get a good, go to school, get a good, get, you know, study hard, get good grades, get a good education, go get a job, work for the next 40 years, retire. Voila. A lot of us are starting to get that way. But the thing about it is, about three years ago, I left corporate America. I gave up the rat race. I gave up the hour, two hour commutes. I gave up a lot of things. My last job, I was traveling 240 days a year. I became an entrepreneur. I became a certified instructor with John Maxwell team as a leadership coach, trainer, and speaker. And then about a year ago, I ran across uh, an interesting opportunity. And, I, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a little bit. But the thing about it is the, the, the economy is changing. Changing before you're out. You keep hearing the media say, well, unemployment's only 4.9%. You know, 4.9%. Well, if you dig down in those numbers, it's really higher. More and more people are working part-time, working two, three part-time jobs. Companies are not hiring you to work 40 hours anymore. They're working you just long enough not to have to pay you health insurance or give you health insurance. More and more companies are changing from a paycheck-based economy to a performance-based economy. You're going to see in the future where you're going to go to work for a company. They're going to hire you to do something specific. You're going to do it. Then you're going to have to go find something else to do. Write it down. Every day I study the economy. I get up in the morning. Uh, I've got a morning routine. And I get little reports like this that I look at. Like... Uh, State employees, you know, most of the people think if you work for a government, you're safe. Well, in Connecticut, uh, the governor there says yes to layoffs and no to early retirements. Um, uh, a plant, a, a, a metal plant down in Louisiana, uh, thinking about they're going to have to lay off 444 people. Lexmark, which is a technology company, they build printers. Uh, are going to have to lay off 143 people in Lexington, Kentucky in May. Um, other things, Appalachian coal counties are uh, hit by the coal layoffs or losing population. People are leaving to go find work other places. Um, you know, there's every day I read these things. People don't realize that 60, 70,000 people a month are losing their job through layoffs. That's 60, 70,000 people that are going out looking for another job. Guess what? They're probably gonna get laid off again, so they're gonna be out looking for another. Average American worker right now changes jobs three point, every 3.4 years in a study I read. Let me tell you what, that's kind of taxing on your nerves when you've got a bunch of bills and children and thing, obligations that you have to meet every month. Is it this Friday that you're going to get the notice? Next Friday, six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, five years from now. It's not if, it's when. See, when I left, when I left corporate America three years ago, I didn't have exactly a plan of what I was going to do. Things have worked out. Somebody, somebody whom we all know had a plan for me. He wanted me to study the economy. He wanted me to help people cope and thrive in this new economy. So what's this new economy going to look like? I'll t touch it on a little bit. Everybody's used to getting a paycheck. You know, Friday comes, once a week, once every two weeks, twice a month, once a month, you know, whatever. You're used to getting a paycheck. Somebody gives you a paycheck. They don't give it to you, you earn it. But the thing about it is, when you work for somebody else, you're helping that person make their dreams come true. If you don't believe me, look at the person that owns your company or runs your company. Do they have a nicer house than you do? Do they drive a nicer car? Do they trade cars more often? Do their kids go to maybe a different school? What about vacation? Where are they going on vacation? Hmm? 
Think about it. If they're not, if you're not living the lifestyle that your boss is living, then we need to chat a little bit longer. See, in this global economy, it's going to go from a paycheck economy to a performance-based economy. And I touched on it. You're going to be hired by a company, do a specific thing. If you meet that thing and you all the standards they set, you get paid. The company's going to save a lot of money on this. And these new jobs that they're talking about creating in the new economy, 95% of them are going to be at or near minimum wage. And if it's the current minimum wage, you'll be making about $290, $300 a week. Can you live on that? No, you can't. I see you on Facebook. I'm pointing over to my other computer screen that I have Facebook. I see your drama and stress of your job every day because you post it. See, the people that, that, that have Facebook and Amazon and Google have made a tremendous amount of money by giving away something and you using it, and they made a lot of money out of it. If you didn't post stuff on Facebook, Facebook would not be where it's at today. It's projected in the next quarter it's going to make $30 billion. And you're helping. So, what am I doing? Well, right now, I'm working in the area of electronic commerce, or what they call e-commerce, and mobile commerce. Currently, right now, this past year, it did $1.67 trillion in sales. By 2019, it'll be... $3.7 trillion. To give you a perspective, the big three automakers, which have been around a little over 100 years, took 100 years to get to $1 trillion in sales. E-commerce and mobile commerce has done it in about 13 years. We're projected over the next four to five years to be at a projected 40% growth rate. 40%. There's no other part of the economy going to grow that fast. And the thing about it is, it's not going to let up. It's going to continue. See, people's habits are changing. No more are we going to the brick and mortar locations and looking at stuff. We're sitting at our, our laptops or uh, on devices like this, uh, smartphones, and we're ordering stuff. So I tell people, we're going from brick and mortar to click and order. And you're part of it. The only difference is between you and I is that I'm cashing in on it because I give away a free app that helps people find the best price for what they're looking for on the, for whatever they're shopping for. And I teach other people how to do the same thing. See, I'm building a residual income. See, I only have to do my work once. I just give the app away one time. And every month, for every app that I have, I get paid. Simple concept. I like it better than the 40-hour-a-week job where I had to go show up at the office every Monday. This, I just sit in, in my, at my home. I work in the comfort of my home. I don't have to commute very far. Instead of commuting an hour or two like you do, I walk 10 feet down the hall. When I get hungry in the, at lunchtime, I go eat. Nobody tells me when to go to lunch. If I want to take a nap in the afternoon, I can take a nap in the afternoon. If I want to go to work early, that's fine. If I want to work late, that's fine. It's up to me. That's a difference between your economy and my economy. So, here's the choice you've got. You can either watch this presentation right down below, understand what I'm doing. I'm not asking you to join me. I'm just asking you to understand what I'm doing. So, when we're at family reunions and things, you'll say, hey, there's so-and-so. God, ooh, what? Mm, you need the brightest bulb in the box. I don't care. I don't care what your opinion is of me because I'm going to build this business irregardless of whatever you say. Okay? I'd love for you to join me. I'll help you if you're interested. If you're not, that's all right. Do yourself a favor. Get the app. Save yourself some money. Me and Kay save about $150, $300 a month on stuff we're buying anyway. So the choice is yours. I've done what I'm supposed to do, which is tell you. It's your choice to decide whether you want to do it or not. I'll see you around. Have an awesome day. God bless. Take care.